Hey folks. Yeah, see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> it's been a few days. I haven't been going out. I've been so busy on the computer and the weather just wasn't all that warm. Yeah, I did go out yesterday, but the landlord is working on the roof here, so I think it's making a lot of noise, so I didn't bother doing my intro talk. Yeah, I just did a bit of shopping for a quick tour and came home, so I just decided not to make a video for yesterday. But I got more to do today. Uh, I got noticed when I woke up that I have a an Amazon package waiting for me at the post office. And then another one came to the door. <laughs> I ordered two things at the same time. They came separately. One went to the post office, one came to the house. So, <laughs> kind of weird. So I gotta stop at the post office and get that. Um, and it's a lot nicer today. It's 23 degrees today. If I remember correctly, that was the high for today. So we've already reached our high. And it's like almost 2 o'clock right now. So Michelle's in Wingham now. She's at the Wingham Hospital. She's going to be there for two weeks. She's not looking forward to it. Um, <laughs> she doesn't like the food that she's getting. She's on a keto diet and they're feeding her carbs, like tons of carbs. And she's kind of concerned that she's going to gain a lot of weight before she comes home. Right, the biggest issue, actually there's two big issues that she has. Uh, because she's disabled, they're not letting her do anything for herself. They won't let her walk the 10 feet to the washroom. I don't know what that means, whether they're putting her in a wheelchair and taking her there, I don't know, but they're, they're really restrictive on what they're allowing her to do. Um, but the biggest issue she has is they restrict the amount of time that you spend in the washroom. So, when she goes, she's only got a certain amount of time, and then she goes back to bed and she calls the nurse again because she's got to go again because she never finished. It just, I don't know, I don't get it. But I haven't talked to her yet today, but there, there's a text on my phone from her. She said that she's not allowed visitors until her test results come back. I'm assuming that's a COVID test. She has to test negative. I'm assuming that. But before I can go, I gotta call the hospital and find out if I have to be tested or vaccinated in order to go because I've been neither, and if that's a requirement, then I won't be going. So, ah, oh, I forgot to bring them out with me. My old glasses, um, my old prescription gra glasses were the only ones I could use at my computer. I got my new ones with the bifocals. I use them out here because they're really good for distance and really close. But anything in between, no. <laughs> I can't even use them sitting at my computer. So if I'm driving or something, I'll just be perfect because I can see the distance, I can read the road signs, and when I look down to the, the magnified part of the lens, which is the part at the bottom here, I can read the dashboard and see that I'm speeding or something. So, I have another pair of glasses that I bought at Walmart. They were 3.75 magnification, I think it was. That's the highest that they had. Those are the ones I bought for working out here doing the welding net because if I'm welding um I just kind of I get the visor rectangle and in order for me to see up close I have to look through the bottom lens which means I have to lift my head my head up a bit so I can look down and then I'm not being able to see out of the visor so this bifocals don't work with welding <laughs> So I bought those and they work perfectly for that. They're good for close up. I'm sitting here doing a project to be perfect for that. Um, problem is they won't work at my computer either. Cause I can see the keyboard on my lap or if I'm actually sitting at the computer, I can see the computer fine, but I'm in bed watching or doing stuff now. So 
I needed something that I could see farther away. So when I was out yesterday, I stopped at the pharmacy and checked out what they had. And I tried the different magnifications at about four feet away, which is roughly the distance my computer monitor is. And the 2.00 magnification seemed to work fine. So I bought those 20 bucks. Uh, as opposed to, you know, 200 for prescription glasses. So 20 bucks for those. They work perfectly. I can see the computer perfectly. <clears throat> I look down at the keyboard, I can see the keyboard perfectly. So, <laughs> But my old glasses, I was going to bring them out to just kind of show. Maybe I'll kind of make a video of it or something when I go in the house. And I'll put that here in the background. But they're, they're so bad. The frames broke several times. I super glued everything together. And then I was out here with them and the lens popped out. And I didn't realize it until after I'd run the lens over with the monster so it's got this big scrape on the, and right in the middle right where my eye is looking out and so I, they came apart again so I had to glue the whole thing together all at once and I had an elastic around it to keep it together the elastic got glued to the frame so there's little bits of elastic sticking out <laughs> they're just horrible so I had to find something new so I got these new glasses and they work perfectly so that was kind of cool so what I found interesting was I figured when the landlord started on the shingles the cat was going to go absolutely berserk it wasn't too bad uh, I'm the only one he really trusts, I'm the only one he hangs around in the house. Somebody comes in my room to talk to me, hisses at them, or runs and hides, or both. And I just kind of figured, because he's doing the roof right outside my window. I figured, you know, he's just going to freak out and run under the bed and hide. But no, he, he actually sat there and watched them through the curtain. <laughs> you can see through the curtain. He sat there and watched them until he got really loud and started making too much noise and then he just kind of walked away <laughs> he didn't run and hide but he just kind of left the window so that that was kind of interesting that surprised me so you know one of the reasons I didn't make any video yesterday I don't remember if I said it or not it's because of all the noise so I just kind of figured it would have been a little bit disruptive as I was trying to talk so that's all I got for updates. I'm sure there's more, but I can't take anything else. So, um, well, one thing I can say is he took all the shingles off the roof and then called it a day and went home. So <laughs> that's a good thing. There was no rain in the forecast for tonight because we had a bare roof. So I know he started putting the shingles on. I don't think he's got too much done yet today, but. As long as he's done by tomorrow afternoon, because that's when we have rain forecasted, we should be okay. So, yeah, today's Tuesday. Wednesday's when we're supposed to get it. So. Hopefully, <laughs> he gets things finished up. So, that's why I didn't make a video yesterday. I just didn't want to get interrupted by the noise, and because I didn't make an intro video, I just didn't bother doing anything. So. But, I'm out today and go do some shopping and go have a little bit of fun.
Well, it's a beautiful day out today. Nothing happened. I got nothing to say. Thanks for watching.